Hey guys, this is your friend Mainak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel and another video on Tecla Structures. So friends, in today's video, we'll show you how to insert end plates for the beams and column collection in Tecla Structural Designer. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So in the previous video, we had applied a base plate in below the column. So we'll show you today how to use the copy special command to copy this. So let's say we'll select this base plate. Uh, first of all if this is not opaque you can use control plus uh, 4 to make it you know solid so we'll select this and after that we'll go to copy special and we have to another object so we'll copy to another object so it's asking that is pick the source object so we'll pick the source object that is this column and now we'll pick the destination objects that is 1 2 and 3 three columns have been selected now to redraw the view you need to click on escape and then click left click anywhere and then right click and then redraw the view so the view have been redrawn that is all the base plates have been applied so now for the connection of your columns and beams let's apply base plate so you can select this particular end plate for that uh, this you can search here end plate and you can take this option of end plate 144 you know to modify this properties you can uh, simply change this plate thickness thickness let's let it be 22 mm and then you can change the bolts also you can change the dia of the bolt let's say uh, we'll give uh, 24 mm dia bolts and you can also change this here so this will be number of bolts which you want to keep vertically if you want to keep three and uh, this will be number of bolts which you want to keep horizontally and this is the spacing and which you can you know change as per that so uh, first of all let's just uh, you know apply this so it's like asking pick the main part so for picking the main part we'll click the columns and then pick the secondary part we'll keep the beams so as you can see this has been inserted like this and now we'll uh, do some uh, modifications and check what uh, the changes which happens because uh, this is very important so we'll escape and then right click and then redraw view and then double click here to you know, modify this so we'll go to bolts and we'll keep this view aside now let's say we'll increase this to let's say 3 and modify let's see what happens So as you can see that number of bolts have been increased along this side as you can see this is one two and another bolt on that side so this has increased now. So if you do back to two and then modify so it will get back to two number of bolts that is uh, one row along this side or one another row along that side. So like this you can change and this is the spacing which you can change. So these are the changes which you can do there are various other changes also which you can be done but these are the basic things for now. So we'll just close this and now we want to copy this to other beam and column junctions. So we'll click on end plate once again and we don't need this right now. We'll just click on column and this beam, column and this beam. Similarly, the column and this beam, the column and this beam, this column and this beam, this column and this beam, this column. And this beam, this column and this beam so we'll click escape and then right click and then click on escape again and then redraw view so now we'll check in the views as you can see the base plate has been inserted here in all the beam and column junctions so now if you want to copy this uh, we can simply select one Two, three, four. you can select these beams and we can go to the grid any grid view we can go so that you can uh, see the changes so we'll just tile these two windows vertically so to observe the changes so now after this view has been opened we can click on this and we can redraw the view and after that we can select our beams let's select our beams like this in any if, if anything extra is selected you can place control and then uh, select this then the objects will get deselected so now we'll click on copy and we'll select the origin point for copying let's uh, select this point and then we'll select this midpoint as our destination point we'll not expand this because we don't want this in this view so now after that you can uh, click on here and then right click and then click on your redraw view 
so now you can check that the base plates and the beams have been copied to the top floor as well so friends in this video we have seen you know how to insert base plates in the model and now also how to use the copy special commands smartly in the tecla structure software so hope you found this video useful have a wonderful day